Hi everyone. So this is Arvind, and today we are going to calculate Trainor ratio by using Python. So let's do it. So we are going to import libraries. Import pandas as pd. Import numpy as np. I'm also going to uh, download or import basically stat library so from scipy. This is for import stats. This is basically we are going to use linear regression for calculating beta, so which I'll show you in a moment. Okay, from tabulate and put tabulate. Let's run Alt Enter. Perfect. So now we are going to download data. Oops, uh, I forgot to download one more li uh, library which is import pandas underscore data reader as web. Let's run this again. Perfect. So web dot data reader. Again, I'm gonna download data for Apple. Data source is equal to Yahoo. Start date 2020-1-1. Let's say it's 0101. And date is equal to 2020-12-31. And of course, we are going to calculate, uh, we are going to take adjusted close data. Let's run this. <clears throat> Perfect, let's check the top five rows. Great. Now let's calculate uh, return. So, daily return is equal to data dot percentage change. Let's check off five rows. Great. And let's calculate cumulative return, which is equal to data minus one, which is the last uh, value, divided by data, the first price. Minus one, let's check cumulative return. Okay, 78%. Cool, and we need to calculate the standard deviation which is equal to daily return dot std dot numpy dot sqrt. So I'm going to analyze it. It's 252 days. Oops. Oh, sorry. I need to multiply it. This QRT. Okay, so here we go. Standard deviation, forty-six percent. Perfect. <clears throat> now for trainer ratio, what's the formula of trainer first? Let's see. So trainer ratio. Is equal to. Return minus 
risk free rate divided by beta so in sharp ratio in the previous video what we did we calculate sharp ratio and uh, we use standard deviation in the denominator while uh, for trainer ratio we are going to use beta since this is a requirement uh, in the calculation because in trainer ratio we are checking the diversification benefit so for beta what we are going to do we also need to download the benchmark so what i will do here i will download benchmark in this way so i'm passing a list from yahoo you can find gsbc which is snp index and then enter so perfect here we have now let's calculate return and then let's check sounds good okay here we are going to calculate a cumulative return of apple so what i will do i will put apple as an index so because if i'm going to do it uh, in this way it will not work so apple let's check perfect uh, let me show you what going to happen if I am using the old way. So let's see return underscore stop. Let's see data minus one divided by data first value whole in the round bracket minus one. In fact, no need to define it into the variable. So just run it directly. Let's see. Okay. So it's giving us an error because we already have two data points uh, in the data set. So the series which we have uh, here contain two data points. So we have to specify the column here. Okay. So for that, what I have done, I have specified the column that for, from which column I need to calculate the return. So that's why it's a cumulative return of Apple and then the last value of Apple, and the first value of Apple. So let me remove this line. Perfect. And again, similarly, I need to do the same thing. So I need a standard deviation of Apple. I can take it directly, although we don't need a standard deviation here, but I'm just calculating for the sake of uh, information now we need to calculate beta for beta what i'm going to do is i'm going to calculate beta first i'm showing it how we will get the data here then i will put it in one variable so shift uh, only tab here these are the functions available under the stars uh, library which we have imported from scipy okay so we need linear regression. What I'm going to do, li, linear regression, just press tab, you will get this. Okay, what are the information required in order to calculate this? We want x and y. So we want dependent variable and we want independent variable. So here, what dependent variable we have here, x is, uh, Sorry, uh, I think I said wrong here. Uh, it will be X, which is the independent variable and Y is dependent. So Y is depending on X here. So we need independent variable, which is X and X is basically the stock. So we already took the return, the so daily return dot apple comma daily return dot SNP. Okay, so we can do it in this way here. Oh, where it is, yes. GSPC, um, I think this, yeah, perfect. And then 
let's run this okay so right so we need to put it in one year variable let's say result is equal to perfect and then let's run result okay so we are getting an nan error okay why we are getting an nan error because of this so what we need to do here is because obviously first uh, data will be zeros and python will give nan not a number and start off like uh, zero so what we are going to do we are going to drop this any okay dot drop n a now run this perfect so we got slope which is beta we got intercept which is alpha we got r value we got p value and the standard error so what we need here we need to see beta let's just check the first number this is your beta if you want alpha we can put one we will get alpha similarly two we will get r value and so on so forth so for this calculation we need beta there is also another way to do it so we can let's say i'm going to let me copy this and then paste it here so what we have already found here let's see we have result underscore one let's see oh sorry no we don't want this so the first variable is slope which is beta slope another variable is alpha so intercept we can put our name beta alpha and our value then p value standard error let's run this okay so let's check beta it's nice let's check alpha perfect now let's calculate trainor ratio for your underscore ratio for apple so it's gonna be cumulative return minus risk free rate which i'm going to take two divided by 100 or we can define risk free rate here uh, in the same way what we did last time in sharp ratio so rfr is equal to two percent and i'm going to put rfr here okay, let me run this first okay divided by okay so we can put it in both the ways uh, result or beta so i'll do it in both way what i will do return result zero and then let's see tr ratio 1.245 okay uh, t ratio in another way by just putting beta so let me copy this since it's gonna be same and instead of result, I'm gonna put beta and then let's see. Perfect, so both the numbers are same. Now, uh, what we will do if we want to calculate train our ratio for more than one stop, we will pass the list here and then we will calculate return in the same manner and then we will calculate cumulative return by passing the list for multiple time and then similarly standard deviation which although we don't need it here but uh, just for the sake of information and then we will calculate beta or any other variable by passing the list multiple time by keeping this benchmark constant constant so i hope you understand this calculation so in the next video i'm going to automate this process in a similar way what i did for sharp ratio so stay tuned and thanks for watching and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and then give me your feedback so i really appreciate this thank you so much thanks for your time have a nice day